All right, so my hair is a big mess today. All I did was brush it. It's been in a ponytail all day yesterday, so, you know, just ignore that. All right, so as you guys can tell by the title of this video, we're gonna be testing out the new Wet n Wild Photo Focus Stick Foundation. Here it is right here. So this retails for $6, $5.99, and you know, the shade range really isn't that heavy. I bought the third shade over and it's like dark as fuck. I probably should have bought a lighter shade. But anyways, um, so you just open it up. Looks like this. Um, I definitely think the brand needs to come out with more shades, especially for darker skin. There's like, there's probably like six shades in total for darker skin and then the other ones are medium and light skin. So it's a balance out shades for each skin range of color, but really they need to come out with more. But whatever, let's see, let's see how this is. So for six dollars, it's stick foundation. I don't use primers ever. I try to, but you know, they're just not for me. I'm gonna try a new primer soon, but um, they're just not for me. So we're just gonna put this on the face and see what happens. I guess what we're gonna do is we're just gonna start swiping on the face. Okay, so far off the bat, it is pretty thick. And, you know, that's not too bad color for me. I'm not too mad at it. So it's pretty thick. It doesn't go on super smooth, but it's not too hard to put on. And you guys know I just go all over the face when I do this kind of stuff. I don't do it in sections. I'm gonna take my favorite Morphe sponge and I'm gonna go ahead and do one side of my face. If it doesn't work good with the sponge, I'm gonna switch into a brush, but if it does work good, then I'm not gonna switch to a brush because I don't use brushes ever. I'm trying to learn how to use brushes. So you guys are gonna see me use them more, but I don't really use them that often. So anyways, we're gonna start blending. So far, it's blending pretty well. Um, a lot of times with stick foundations, they're hard to blend, but this one is not giving me trouble. I mean, I have some really troubling stick foundations that look great, but they're so hard to blend out. So that's pretty, that's pretty full coverage. I didn't even look if it's supposed to be like medium or full coverage, but it looks pretty good so far. It does have the dewiness to it. I'm gonna go ahead and go on to the other side with the sponge, cause you know, I'm a sponge girl. All right, now we're gonna see how it blends out on the nose, cause all products are very troubling on my nose. It doesn't look too great on the nose, but that's really nothing unusual, so I'm not gonna get mad about it. Okay, so we have it all blended out. Honestly, I think the color looks pretty nice for my skin color. Um, I don't know if it's just the lighting, I'll have to see out, you know, out in the daytime, but you know, it looks pretty dark, but then it blended pretty nicely on my skin. It's got a nice dew to it, like dew to it. It's got a nice dewy look to it, and I really like that because I really don't like matte and drying foundations, so the fact that it has a dewiness to it is really nice. Um, it is a little sticky on the face, of course you can fix that with powder, but, but all of my foundations are normally sticky on my face uh, because I don't touch my face all day and I don't really like how powders look on my skin. Okay, so I just fixed up my face a little bit off camera for you guys. Uh, I just put on some bronzer, some blush, and I didn't even put highlighter on, but this blush has a glow to it, and I set my face and you know, put a little bit of brow gel in my brows. But anyways, honestly, oh, and I put concealer on, of course, but honestly, I I really like how it looks. I'm really excited. I always let you guys know down below in the description my full opinion on it, um, how I liked it throughout the day, because I'm not gonna post this video just today after, you know, filming it. I want to wear it for a full day um, or at least another day just to see how I like it, how I like it with other products, that kind of thing. But honestly, my skin looks really, really good. Like I was looking at it up close. I haven't got up to my mirror yet, but I was using this mirror and I was looking at it and I was like, damn, because it just looks like my regular skin, but with more coverage. <laughs> 
I'm really liking it. It looks very nice close up, which is awesome. I always forget that I can look at mirrors close up, like put it up to my face when I'm testing out products. And this just looks really fucking good. So honestly, right now, I am really, really shook. I'm really shook about this, and I'm really liking it. $5.99, this is $6. I don't know how long it's gonna last. Let's just roll it up and see how much product in it. So there's this much product in it, which doesn't look like a lot, but this will last. You know, this is how much like a lot of stick foundations have in them. Some do have more, but um, you know, I'm not mad about it um, because it's literally $5.99, $6. I can go purchase a new one. Uh, I feel like this will at least last me for a couple months, I would say. Maybe not for everyday use, but for my kind of use. But honestly, I'm really, really liking it. I'm not doing anything else to my face. I'm not going to put on mascara or lipstick or anything like that because I'm literally just going to be at home today and cleaning and getting messy. So you guys will know because I'm probably going to be getting sweaty and I'm going to be pretty, pretty active today. So um, I will definitely leave down below in the comments what I fully think about this product. Do I like it? Do I hate it? All that kind of stuff. What I think needs to be done differently when using it to help you out. If you are going to use it, I will let you know down below in the description. But anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed this little mini review testing out the new Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. And I should have tried it, tried their concealer with it, their Photo Focus Concealer, but I didn't because it's in my car because I keep it for touch-ups when I'm at work, so oops. But anyways, I'm I'm pretty shook about this. I'm pretty shook. I'm pretty happy. I think I'm gonna like this a lot. I feel like the color didn't oxidize or anything. Um, at first I was like, this is probably gonna oxidize. I just felt like it was going to, but it didn't. It looks very nice on the skin. It matches my skin color very well, but I don't know if they have shades for you because they don't really have a wide shape. So anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give my video a thumbs up. It really helps me out a lot. And leave down below in the comments what you'd like to see me film next. I'm always down to film fun things for you guys. I've been getting like little like goofy things to do, but I'm like really nervous to film them. <laughs> so anyways, just leave me down below in the comments what you'd like to see me film next, review or anything like that, and I would love to do it. Bye guys, and thanks for watching. Like coffee.